for someone who's been terrified of technology for since ever and yet for someone who loves to have the newest technology forever there's always a controversy in life and the worst controversy I've come across in recent times is this piece of jewelry why do I call it jewelry I mean it's an ultrasound scanner after all but the reason why I call it jewelry is because it's fascinating to look at but more importantly it has value and the value is something I've started using every day because I discovered a little while ago that it had some functions that I needed desperately the first function I needed desperately was the need to be able to examine more of my changed patient profile more efficiently then you say what happened to your patient profile over the years I used to get maybe one or two patients who had abdominal obesity today most of my patients have abdominal obesity and I said how did that happen well I don't care how it happened the point is I now have this piece of technology which has overcome a lot of that and then these three magic buttons I will tell you about but that's in a little while what I want to tell you about first is how I handle a case routinely so here's this patient who walks in and I'm looking at this fetus that terrifies me because I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do she's all of 120 kilos she's a conception with IVF for obvious reasons polycystic ovaries in the works and for the past 40 minutes I just see her head deep down here a bit of the spine and I don't see very much else and I say okay let me try a vaginal view and the first thing I see in the vaginal view is this and I see here that I don't see an aqueductus cilius and I see edema of the nuchal region okay I have a point already I'm still working on my routine stuff then I start looking and I see a urinary bladder that just doesn't fill I go on and I realize that I truly hardly see anything beyond the viscera and I don't really see a spine that's finishing in the right place I'm already tying up in my head that of course this is a standard aqueductus cilius pushed back what Sabin Ma described a, lo a long while ago and therefore there must be an open neural tube defect somewhere but I have to find it I also find that my urinary bladder still doesn't fill what do I do? I do a quick 3D reconstruction and I have most of my answers I see of course that there is the nucleotima I see a bump which is much more extensive than I thought I then go on and I tell myself okay what more can I add on here and the first thing I realize is that I can go to a new engine that shows me soft tissue and bone together and here it is I can see bones I can see ribs I can see part of a half broken spine I see a disarranged spine and I see a bump there equally importantly I see a completely crooked upper part of the lower limbs and I hardly see any anterior abdominal wall below the umbilicus and I know immediately I am looking at a section of my OEIS complex which is an EIS complex a neural tube defect associated with a bladder extrophy and then I have this fascination of being able to occupy the whole screen with this that of course is is fascinating it's fascinating for anybody but the story started with a nice wonderful 2d finding and then of course I went on to do this whole case and I say okay I also get to look at the vista differently which is this I adjust my sets on my uh, 3d and I say okay look how beautifully here I'm looking at lungs how beautifully here I'm looking at bowel and there was no pleural effusion there was no high drops there was just this and I can see all of this just so nicely and a bladder that just doesn't fill I was so excited with this because I kept telling myself okay I have this I have all this information that I needed and now what do I do I realized that the first thing I was getting to do was to use what this dear machine offers me and what does this dear machine offer me this dear machine offers me the fact that whenever I work anywhere I can of course get to see all that I'm seeing 
But when I go back to starting my patient, I get immediately something wonderful and that is here. The choice of two functions which help me to reach down in a patient I never thought I could ever get down to. The first is an augment function which gives me resolution at depth. Unbelievable. How does it actually work? Let me show you. There is the standard setting. Okay, choose whatever you want, like a first trimester setting. And I will increase this to show you what's going on. Now when I press augment, then I realize that I have activated the augment and suddenly I have a depth that is phenomenal, but I also have a frequency that is phenomenally great, an 8.20. Now that is what is augment, resolution with penetration at the same time. Amazing. If that was not enough, I have Ultra HD and what does that do for me? It gives me outlines. It gives me unbelievable outlines and so I get clarity. So I get contrast, I get depth, I get resolution. What is also happening and which I get absolutely fascinated with is this business of settings. When I go and if I show you this keyboard here now, I switched on my color Doppler and I had to go from a single Doppler setting which was say showing me the umbilical artery and if I wanted to look at pulmonary veins I had to start all over again and I you know go to another preset adjust this adjust this adjust that I have a single setting by pressing just this pulmonary veins will give me pulmonary veins umbilical artery will give me the setting for that and the MCA will give me a setting for that these are the functions that have saved me oodles of time of course, I'm able to tend to more patients during the day. That is the downside because that means I'm not cutting down on my clinic time. I'm cutting down on my patient time. But you know, that's all in the day's work. So that's quite okay with me. The real downside, the real downside is only one thing. And that is if I show my patients that baby on one of my older units, they want to see the baby on the newer unit. They convinced this has better images that the lay person can see. Well, so be it. I have it for them. It's for them. It's for science. It's for medical care and equally as much for patient satisfaction. Thank you, Expert 22, for this absolutely fantastic advance in technology. Thank you indeed.